Hi friends, how are you all? I hope you are doing well. As you saw how this vertical hydroponic tower system works in my previous video. In this video, I'll show you how to mix nutrient solution to grow these plants in this hydroponic tower system. So welcome to my channel, My Hydroponics Diary. What I observed in this uh, tower system is that once you plant these plants in this uh, tower system, uh, so these uh, plants uh, initially will be hanging down. Uh, once they start absorbing nutrients uh, in this tower system, uh, you know they tend they bend upwards uh, towards the source of light. As you can see, most of the plants are you know turning upwards, making a U turn to the uh, to show their leaves to the source of light. So most of the plants are showing this uh, behavior. As you can see, this uh, brinjal plant also I have planted here. So this was uh, straight poking out, and now it is you know started bending upwards. I think this is this sign of the plants, which showing upward movements towards the uh, you know source of light, is a good sign that they have taken up in this system, and they have got adjusted to this particular system. Let's see how to add nutrients uh, to this uh, water to turn our simple water to hydroponic fluid. These are the things necessary to add nutrients to your hydroponic solution. Uh, uh, usually the hydroponic uh, solution comes in powder and liquid form. Powder form is uh, preferred. So uh, I have used a powder form. Uh, typically this comes in uh, you know, uh, bottle A and B. Stock solution is made using this powder. Each powder A and powder B should be mixed uh, in a, uh, each powder A and powder B should be mixed uh, in a thousand ml of RO water, one liter of RO water each, and to make this stock solution. So this stock solution uh, uh, can be keep, uh, you can keep it for uh, for some time. Uh, you know, it should be protected uh, from the sunlight because it may promote uh, growth of the algae. So, so this is our stock solution. So this is solution A and solution B. Now, uh, so before add your solution to your hydroponic system, uh, you should measure the amount of water in your uh, hydroponic uh, system. And also you should measure the TDS of the water. I have 15 liter of water so let me check what is the TDS of the solution so the TDS of this solution is showing 182 you can use water uh, with a TDS of up to 200 uh, to make your hydroponic solution uh, initially when you add nutrient solution you have to start with half strength uh, each uh, company have their own uh, recommendation uh, uh, you can use, you, you can read their uh, you know user manual before adding the solution solution in this particular the nutrient solution to make a uh, half strength of the nutrient solution uh, uh, they recommend uh, to add 5 ml uh, per liter of water so uh, here i have taken um, 75 ml of water because my reservoir uh, the fluid is 15 ml 15 ml into 5 is 75 so this is 75 ml water now let me call my assistant nikita to add our nutrient solution to this uh, nutrient uh, fluid hi nikita hi. so shall we add our nutrients to our solution yes. okay so carry on Take the nutrient solution A slowly. Okay. Okay. So here we go. We are adding our nutrient solution A. Ah, come on. So here we go. Slowly, slowly. Don't touch the pipe. Okay. Yes, that is nutrient solution. As you can see, the, the color of the, our water is changing. And so we have added 75 ml of nutrient solution A. Now, now it's time to add nutrient solution B. Uh, so now it's time to add nutrient solution B. We have an, another assistant here, Nishita. Hi Nishi. Hi everyone. So can you add uh, this nutrient solution to our solution? Yes. Okay. okay, here we go, slowly, okay. 
Slowly you have to add here. Okay. Good. Here, here, here. In this solution. Slowly. Okay, Nishi is adding solution B. So I have added solution B, 75 ml of solution B to this nutrient solution. Now our hydroponic solution is ready. So this is how it looks after adding the nutrients A and B to plain water. Now wait for a few minutes and then we can check uh, what is the TDS after adding the nutrient solution. So let us check the TDS of our nutrient solution after adding our nutrients to plain water. Previously it was nearly 180 and let us see how much it is now. It is showing 780. So the TDS of our nutrient solution has increased by 600 points. So I have added 5 ml of uh, uh, the nutrient solution of stock A and B. Now the TDS is showing nearly 800 so that is fine so this is half strength of the nutrient solution so our target TDS is 1200 to 1500 after two to three weeks gradually we add more and more nutrient uh, to this uh, solution and slowly the TDS will rise so it is recommended to start with half strength of the nutrient solution now let us see what has happened to the pH now the pH of this solution is still showing 7 that means you have to add some pH down solution to this uh, nutrient fluid in order to make the fluid acidic so either you can use uh, vinegar or uh, pH down solution available online uh, so this is the pH down solution uh, which is again available online you can buy uh, here recommended is uh, recommended dosage is uh, add 0.5 ml of uh, pH down solution per liter so here uh, is 15 ml 0.5 is nearly 8 ml so you can add 8 ml to our solution to make this uh, you know pH little acidic so let us go ahead and add and check what is the pH, uh, how pH changes now you can see the pH has come down a little after adding pH down solution so that's how you make it little acidic so ideal range is between 5 to 6 hope you liked the video please subscribe to my channel so that you get notification when I release my next video I hope the video was useful thank you have a great day bye bye